Oh. Head coach Corey Nielsen joins us. Corey, you've got to have a smile on your face. The boys battled and battled and battled. We all were thinking, what a warrior, Brandon Benedict. Thought he had a broken bone in his foot. X-ray said not. He hobbled in here and said, I'm going to give it a go, coach. We thought we had a warrior. We didn't. We had a team of warriors in that one. Yeah, I guess if you're you're not laughing, you're crying at this stage. Uh, obviously, we're decimated at the moment with injuries, but uh, the guys who played, the guys who finished the game, uh, even Chris Murray who left a little bit through, uh, they, they played like champions, they played like warriors. And a bounce here, a bounce there, maybe a call here, a call there. And uh, we get a win when there's no business, we should be winning that game. But uh, I was really happy the fans were with us the whole time. I think they understood the, the amount of effort the guys were putting in and they, they were there through and through till the end. Just uh, just didn't quite have the have it at the end. And it's not so much the numbers game, you know, like how many guys were missing. Because like I said, you know, we, we started with two goalies, 5D and, and eight forwards. A mm -hmm. little bit short, but we started with the numbers. But it's who's missing and who's playing like when perhaps they should have had another week off before they come back from injury and who's playing out of position and who's not just logging lots of minutes like Franny and uh, Matt Ryan, it's what they're logging within those minutes as well. Yeah, we've got guys uh, like Boxy, has been our 10th forward all year, sometimes 11th forward, and he's bumping up and playing you know, on top eight role. I mean, he's, he's doing a great job. Nortz, he, he was playing. At one point, uh, while well, we finished the game, obviously, with one import defenseman, and, you know, a couple times we were killing a penalty with four forwards on the ice. Uh, it's just the way it, it rolls sometimes. But uh, That's going to be a heck of a tactic when everyone comes back from each Yeah, <laughs> well, I thought uh, Neil Kamen had a good game for us, and, and uh, he was solid. And we just uh, you know, had some chances and hit some posts and had some things. But, uh, you know, all the guys, not just Matty, Fr Matty uh, Francis and Ryan, both those guys have been you know, two centers for likely two months now, and, and uh, we just rolled it around, Moinsey on, on one leg out there doing a great job and Hans looked much better than, than uh, the Cardiff game, he's uh, almost back to prime Henry form so uh, yeah hopefully we can heal up a tiny bit before this uh, Sheffield match and get a win there. At least one of the suspensions is over now. Yeah Peter, Peter obviously he's got some some pretty unique skills that uh, you can use in certain moments and he's pretty special so. Would you think with just one of those missing key guys in the lineup, it would have tilted the balance our way? Well, you, it's a, just like a, a wounded animal out there. The guys were, were dangerous, and I thought uh, our, I think it was 12 guys, definitely outworked their full team. So uh, I, was, I was really proud of the effort they put through, and, and yeah, obviously with, a, with another body here, another body there, it, it certainly helps.